lets it fly. Nope. Oh, rebound jammed by Ben Baker. Baker with a beautiful wrap back in. Shot is missed by Keys. Baker gets the inside. So it's back to a three point seconds left. Down the floor, open Dennis Rodman for the slam. Straight down, Tony, that's way off. Rodman the rebound, and he goes for the shot, and he gets slapped in the head by Reed. He doesn't care. He's just walking away, talking to himself. So Reed picks up here. Is that his third foul? That's his third and fifth on the team. There he goes. He gets the ball. Now he knows he's in close to traffic. If he can just jump up, he may get it. <laughs> Dennis. on him personally but but it, but if he did <laughs> discussing it all right well it, this isn't a friendly chat as far as I know until Rodman uh, breaks out with a smile now uh, Pat uh, I, I think Pat is handling it in playful fashion but you know Marv had Rodman been tossed it would have been the fourth time to 24 given to the uh, Spurs here's Ellis Nick's now 25 15 and a technical foul. Oakley and Rodman pushing and shoving, and Rodman drew the technical foul, as did uh, Charles Oakley. We'll take another look at it. Both players going at it. Rodman with a severe shove there at the end of the move. The whistle was blown. Now with it. Oakley from Hopper, the rejection by Rodman, who felt he was pushed on the follow. What a great play by Rodman. <laughs> and the foul called on Hopper. Yes, the game here on Monday against Minnesota. Hopper hit that, that three-pointer, but that was it. He did not play well, and then Greg Anthony came in uh, to finish it up. What a play, as, as you say, by Dennis Rodman. Why didn't I get a foul called against Oakley, Rodman wanted to know. He came running up court. Win that he's playing a solid game. Oh, he goes hard as Rollins takes him down. Oh, he sure did. He, he's uh, he's been popped a number of times tonight. Now you can say if, if you're a Detroit fan, you're saying, "Hey, come on!" That he, we're setting good, solid picks. Now you got to say, "Keep an eye on it." Now watch as he comes up here, moving pick. Rollins catches him with the shell. Extended action since early April on Sunday. Oh, uh, and Livingston going uh, down hard. Now Rodman gets away with it. Yeah, he did. He got away with a push. But 3.6. Now, Dad, watch Rodman. See, he just pushes Livingston. Livingston's right in his way. You can't do that. You're not allowed. He took away the lane. You, you, you must uh, uh, miss him. Only eight points. Tippett is hammered inside, and three pistons converged on him. Rollins, Rodman, and Lambeer is. Rodman put a right arm on top of Detroit. Pippen's back. Well, they rotated, did an excellent job. Just watch Rollins. He keeps it behind the backboard. Here they come down inside. Forearm by Lambeer. Rodman comes on his back. Edwards in a battle with Mikhail. James Edwards certainly getting these shot opportunities early. Dennis Rodman in a collision with Larry Bird. And uh, they both landed in the first row. And As the shot goes up, check the battle out underneath. A headbutt, double arm wraparound, and a takedown trip by Dennis Rodman to Larry Bird. Are uh, they working hard out here to come up with the basketball, I'd say. Isaiah Thomas was called for that foul. Benny Johnson getting set to come on. And Bryant. Again, Detroit, back to the motion game, passing game offense. 
Sally. 12 for Sally. And the Celtics lead 68-51. Robin and uh, Pinckney had some words as they came together. Well, you got guys working hard on the glass as the shot goes up by Sally. They're both hooked into each other's arm, just trying to get free. That's all I'm trying to do. Right. Brown lost it. Dumars putting the move on Shaw. Pistons looking for any kind of positive to get going. And now words once again between Pickney and Rodman. A timeout called by the Celtics. Detroit looking for anything to get this crowd into it, to get the team alive. Dennis Rodman working. A little elbow there to Pickney. Pickney's not going to take the elbow. He's going to come back at him and hold his ground. They've called a double technical on Rodman and Pickney. We'll be right back. And they're both hanging in there. Check the right elbow out right there into Pickney's chest. This crowd attempting to get the home club back into it. 6.38 to go in the third. It's been all Boston. They Bird touches it to Gamble. By Vinny, you'll get the foul. BJ's first. Yeah. Johnson shot is short. 4-4. Four -four. They say it'll be on Derek Smith. But injuries or not, game four was a war. A war the Pistons felt they needed to win. Pinkney on him. And Pinkney will get called for the foul as he... And Chuck cannot believe the tight bench and the fans don't agree with this call. Take another look at it. Bird trying to work himself free. It looked like he was there, but that, that doesn't uh, excuse what went on before that. Really saved it. Great hustle play by Derek Smith. Then he and Scott Hastings have some words. There's two guys who... Three, nine to shoot. Wilkins isolated against Rodman. And Rodman called for the foul as he and Dominique go down. Now that was very, very close. Rodman is pushing Wilkins very far out to receive the pass. You see, he's way out past the three-point line. Now watch the anticipation here. Watch the footwork. Look at this. All right, now, was, was that a block? Definitely, because he never got in front of him. If you're a Detroit, you haven't run a play for him yet. Dumars penetrating past McCormick. And Look out, we've got a, a near confrontation, but with the score at this kind of spread, 15 points, tempers cool quickly. Well, it, it But Webb going coast to coast, and he draws the foul. It's on Dennis Rodman. Very nice penetration by Spud Webb. No one gets in front of him. You must stop the basketball. Even playing against a smaller player like Spud, you're going to get in foul trouble if you don't get your body in front of the basketball. That time, Dennis tried to do it with just his arms instead. Spins back inside. Great switch to the hands, and the glasses.